Is there any way to answer a phone call using a dial-up modem? Lately, we've been getting a lot of telemarketers and spammers calling our home line, even though we're entered in the national do not call directory. The other day, I unearthed a Pentium 1 in my basement, it had a dial-up modem in it, and we could actually manage to send a phone call made of a horrible screeching, grating sound. I was wondering if there's any way to use this to answer an inbound phone call. Our current setup is this, we have a phone connection, and an internet connection. There are two phone jacks in the wall, each one is a full hookup, we have a DSL filter hooked up to one jack, with its outputs going to the modem and the phone. What I'm envisioning is this. Telemarketer calls us. We check the SID, confirm it's a spammer, the same three or so are calling us over and over and over. We quickly run over to the pent. One, and click something, maybe a batch script or similar, that would do this. Tap into the phone line as a normal handset. Attempt to perform a dial-up handshake. Salesman? Profit. Well, maybe not profit, per se, but it will certainly be nice not to be spammed every five minutes. So, if anyone could help me out with this, that would be nice. P.S. If this is illegal, harassment, spam, etc., just answer it as a hypothetical answer to a hypothetical question. I may need some hypothetical troubleshooting, as well. Smile. While not a direct answer to your question, someone has accomplished something similar to this using a Raspberry Pi. Their full article can be found here but the summary is that they've used a phone to Ethernet adapter, like the one that Rich Hamolka mentions in his answer, wired into the Pi and a couple of scripts to make sure that the caller is a person or appears on a whitelist before the actual phone is allowed to ring. I'm assuming you'd be able to set it up as a blacklist so that the three numbers would be told to go away in no uncertain terms or just forever put on hold. I'm assuming, and hoping, that once the competition is over that he'll make his work available for anyone to use. I'd like to say, this does not answer your question directly, but I think you're looking at the problem the wrong way. Do you really want a 400 watt computer running all day just to screen a couple phone calls? I think both what do I do with the Pentium I, and how do I screen calls are both excellent questions, but in how I think you should split these. I'm not sure how the run to the Pentium, click a script, Blow some noise over the modem is any more effective than saying I'll never buy your product and hanging up. Or even better, say let me get underscore and leave your phone off the hook, these guys live and die by turnover, and dead air may cost them and frustrate them enough for them to not call you. As far as being rude to the caller, remember, the person on the phone talking to you is not the boss. These are people, whose dire financial straits make the best job available to them sitting making repetitive phone calls that people hate. I have an Abitalk 110, hooked into my spare, Google Voice account. The device has two lines and one can be an existing house line, like in your situation. The other can be SIP or Google Voice, so you have room for expansion. It's a bit clunky to configure but the Abitalk can be used to screen phone numbers. Since you have a small number of numbers to block, this clunkiness may not be an issue. If you like the Abitalk, you can eventually use it to talk to Google Voice directly. You could even port your home number to Google Voice if you needed to keep it, though you may need to port to a mobile number first. Great call screening. Free USA calls. The downside is, you'd essentially be VoIP on your main line, a pain if you ever need to send a fax. If the Abitalk is too clean box and you want a project, I'd suggest asterisk on Raspberry Pi or something similar. 
more fun than an old Pentium, and you save some electricity. In the past, evil life I worked on the technical side of the telemarketing industry. I'm sorry. Something that works very well is to quickly stop the caller in their tracks and say, please add me to your do not call list. By law they have to stop what they're doing and add you to the list. Sometimes they'll ask if you're sure, but that's about it. Just repeat to them, please add me to your do not call list. It's like you said Beetlejuice three times. If they don't get it, then you need to insist on speaking to their supervisor. This can cost them thousands of dollars, and you can be paid for your trouble. Second, if you want to approach it from a technical standpoint, you can add three tones at the beginning of every call that you pick up. This is what some of the hardware that you could add to your phone in the 1990s would do. Different sequences of different tones mean different things. Here's one reference that goes into a bit of detail. This URL. Finally, others have suggested blasting the modem sounds at the telemarketer. They will likely never hear this noise, but it could prevent callbacks. Telemarketing software dials massive numbers of calls per hour. If it hears a fax, it will understand that a human is not there and if it is coded logically, will mark the number as a fax and never call back, as the goal is to speak with as many humans as possible. If you simply hang up or don't answer, or it goes to answering machine or voicemail, you will definitely be called back soon. Definitely. Sure you can do this. Hook the modem up to the phone line. You will need a terminal program to control the modem. Granted, I haven't seen one in years and MS doesn't include one with Windows anymore, but I'm sure if you Google it, you can find one. You might even be able to pipe the command ADA to the COM port in command window. FYI ADA is the Hey standard command to tell a modem to pick up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.